Hey, what up guys, it's Ryan PC Battle Stations, and welcome to the second episode of Level Up Your Setup, where we take a look at a bunch of products to help, you know, level up your setup. So these products will focus on gaming, aesthetics, and productivity. All the links will be down in the description for you. Uh, without further ado, let's do this. <music> So first up is a 12-in-1 USB-C hub from Ellisife. I think that's how you say it. Um, and these hubs are really nice because what I find sometimes are really annoying if I run out of ports or I need to plug in something that is in a hard to reach area. For example, I still kind of edit some of my videos on an iMac and on the monitor or on the back of the monitor, it has those ports or an SD card or the USB-C slots, you know, a USB uh, A slots are in the back of that monitor and it's really annoying every time you have to go and reach around and plug in. And then, so this hub would be really perfect to kind of just have that dangle below and I have those ports easily accessible. So I really like these hubs. Uh, what also makes them really nice too is you can carry them with you and it makes a great little kind of like a little docking station. So if you have a laptop, you need external monitors or additional ports, especially on the Macs, like a lot of the Macs that I'm making right now, or you know the MacBook Pros, those Mac laptops, uh, they have like one USB-C hub or port, and uh, this will make it real easy to have all your ports that you need. What's really nice about this hub is it's really thin. So, you know, it's really compact. I've seen some other hubs that are fairly bigger, uh, making it, you know, more annoying to carry it around or put somewhere on your setup. This is a real nice low profile design. Another thing really nice about these things is all of these ports can run through your USB-C. So it has one USB-C PD, which is a power delivery. So you're able to charge your most USB-C devices, you know, up to about 100 watts, uh, but they cap it at about 87 watts for safety. Uh, it has two USB 2.0 ports. It has uh, two USB 3 ports. It has two HDMI ports. And the first port is the 4K 30 hertz. And the second port has the 4K 60 hertz. It has a VGA port and it has a ethernet port, which is a, a gig connection. So you can have gig, gig speeds with this ethernet port. It has a SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. And you can uh, use both of these at the same time, which is nice. And it also has a mic or a 3.5 millimeter audio mic port. And if you want to use this port kind of like a docking station to kind of extend your displays, uh, so you're able to either extend the displays, so kind of uh, have additional desktops or real estate when you plug into your uh, Mac or PC, and then you're also able to mirror um, everything. So if you wanted to kind of like use it as a projector or something, you can plug it in and if you have a bigger TV, you can project what's currently on your monitor or on your laptop, whatever. And the reason why I chose this is it's got great reviews on Amazon. It's about 97% uh, five-star reviews on Amazon right about now. So it's going for about $59.99. So if you think that you could use one of these like I will, can't wait to use it more often, uh, check it out. We'll have the link down in the description for you. Next up is a mic by Fine Fine, and I know I reviewed a Fine Fine mic with its own standalone dedicated review a while back, and I was actually impressed with the audio quality that I chose to review this one again. It's a different one. Uh, this one is the K678 USB mic. What's great about this one, it comes with an included stand, so you can just drop it on your desk. Uh, and then also it has an included adapter that you can also hook it up to a uh, boom arm. So features on this Fine Fine K678 mic, uh, it's a 16 millimeter diaphragm condenser mic you know provides a fuller warm clear sound it has a cardioid polar pattern frequency response is 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz and it's powered by usb which is really nice plug and play works both on mac and windows it's a 16 bit with 48 kilohertz resolution without the need for you know an external mic preamp audio interface or you know any kind of headphone amplifier what's different about this mic versus the previous fine fine mic that i reviewed uh, this one also has an indicator on the front a little light that tells you that it's on uh, it also has a mute button which is nice and on the back it has a microphone gain button and a headphone volume button it also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the bottom so you can plug in your headphones and monitor your feed and the stand that it sits on is real heavy duty it's a uh, die cast zinc metal uh, with some rubber bottoms on it so it doesn't slip on the desk or doesn't you know scratch up your desktop which is nice 
USB cable on this is fairly long, it's 5.56 feet, and it has a mag double magnetic ring around it, so to help eliminate or minimize the problem with electromagnetic interference from computers. It also comes with that adapter to hook on the mic boom arm, uh, which is the 5 8 inch uh, male to 3 8 inch female adapter. And if you're wondering about the size of this, see where you can place it. With the stand, the length is about five, a little over five inches or 128.6 millimeters. And the width is uh, just under five inches at 4.94 inches or 125.6 millimeters. The height with the stand is 7.87 inches or 200 millimeters. So let's take a look at the voice test and let's see how good this Fine Fine microphone really is. All right, here's the mic test for the Fine Fine K678 microphone. Uh, we're gonna just do some heavy breathing uh, for about five minutes. So you guys ready? No, we won't do that. All right, so let's take a look at a couple sentences. Uh, the small pup not a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. So let's take a look at uh, how good the quality is just with those uh, test sentences. If you want heavy breathing, I can do that. So let me know because I got time. So these Fine Fine microphones aren't too shabby for the price. You know, you can obviously get a lot more expensive ones, but if you're looking for a simple cardioid microphone uh, for under hundred bucks, this one's going for about $79.99 currently on Amazon. So take a look if that's something that would uh, be of use to you. Next up is a Lapau Z1 Gamut portable monitor, it's 2020 version. Now I know I did a portable monitor from Vissel's last episode. I also wanted to check this one out because it's slightly different and it's also slightly different than Lapau's older uh, portable monitor. So I just want to give it a quick little glance and see how good it is. So I like these portable monitors because you know you can hook up a laptop, Mac PC, phone, uh, all kinds of gaming consoles. You got the Switch, Xbox, PS4s, uh, you know, to if you're traveling or whatever, you need a bigger monitor to game, you gotta get that gaming in. Or if you want a second monitor on your laptop, you know, you're traveling, these things are great for that. Uh, so let's take a look at this Lapau portable monitor and let's see what it has to offer. So it has an IPS panel and it's a 15.6 inch 1080p 60 hertz refresh rate. Uh, it has USB-C uh, full function on the left side by the HDMI port. And then the other side is the PD or the power delivery for power supply on the right. Uh, it has an HDMI port. Uh, this thing has dual speakers. So it's got two on each side. And then uh, it features a 178 degree viewing angle. So that's kind of nice if multiple people are looking at it. Like if you're watching a movie, you need a bigger monitor. It also has the quantum dot enhancement film, uh, which basically enhances the color gamut by about 60%. Um, so it's got, you know, kind of a typical 16.7 million colors. Color temp is about 6,800K. Brightness on this new one is 320 nits. And the contrast ratio is 1,001. So this portable monitor is about 0.34 inches thick uh, by about 14 and a half inches uh, in length and about 8.85 inches tall and it weighs only 1.7 pounds or 770 grams. Comes with three cables. You got a USB-C to USB-C, uh, a mini HDMI to HDMI, and then it has a USB-C to USB-A. It also comes with a power plug and a smart cover and also a screen protector if you want to protect your screen. One thing to note though, this portable monitor is not a touch screen, which is unfortunate. I know the Vistles one was touch screen. It was kind of nice to be able to touch and move and manipulate the screen with the monitor. Uh, this one is not touch screen. And the cover that it comes with is magnetic attaching to the monitor. It's got two little slots where you can adjust it in two different angles. So if you want more vertical, you just put it back on that other one. So if you're like me and you like these portable monitors, nice and lightweight, you know, you're traveling, you got a laptop and you want a second monitor to do some work on, uh, or if you just want a bigger screen to game on, you know, if you're traveling, uh, you need to get your gaming in, uh, take a look at these portable monitors. Take a look at this one, Le Pew. Uh, it's currently on Amazon going for about $199, about $200 on Amazon. So fairly impressed, not bad. All right, next up is space cables. Now, if you don't know who space cables is, then you probably, haven't traveled down the keyboard a rabbit hole yet. And space cables, I mean, Reagan has been killing it for a while now in the custom coiled keyboard industry. And they are excellent quality and they just look hot. So I have three cables from him that look awesome. Uh, this one, Black Panther one, looks beautiful. Uh, I believe it's like a black paracord with a purple 
TechFlex on it, and then uh, some black and gray heat shrink with the black aviator. With he even put a little custom Black Panther engraving on the aviator, which looks awesome, perfect for my Black Panther build. Um, he also got a couple more cables uh, for Cyberpunk coming up. I uh, had him make, obviously he makes the very popular laser cable, which is awesome colors. And then uh, he made another one where if I decide to also do kind of like the classic cyberpunk yellow with the teal or a blue color, uh, they just look great. Excellent quality. The coils, you know, you snap them and they just snap back. You pull them apart and they snap back. These coils are tight, toy like a toyga. They bounce back, snap. His cables will definitely increase the drool factor in your setup and also up your keyboard game. Uh, if you haven't went down the rabbit hole of the custom keyboards yet, don't. Word of advice, just don't. Your wallet will hate you even further. Tell you what, why don't you just give me your money, I'll kick you in the nuts and we'll call it a day. Okay? Okay. And last, let's give a desk pad shout out. Uh, but actually, he does more than desk pads. But, you know, desk pad shout out goes to Oramek. Uh, my amazing friend from Canada, he is awesome and his whole store has been booming and he also has been crushing it. Uh, the desk pads that you see here in this video, uh, really popular one, the one that I really like is the fire and ice, the red and the blue, uh, really nice colors. Uh, and then I believe I got the purple, or no, Aura Nights, which is the purple one, and Bloodthirsty, which is red. I think I got some more uh, desk pads coming from him right now. They have a lot more desk pads than the three that I have and they also do more than the desk pads. Um, they have, you know, lube, they have switches, they have a new tool set that I just received from them, which is, uh, looks great, definitely put that in use. And they also have, like, hot off the press, I don't even think this is on the website yet, um, which is like a little keyboard mat. Uh, where basically you're building and these mats will definitely come in handy when I start building more keyboards. Um, you know, you can put the keyboard PCB down here. They have spots where you can put your screws in. Uh, looks like some of them are magnetic so you won't be able to uh, have any rogue screws go flying off. A uh, little tray for your tools, all kinds of different little compartments where you put your parts and part boxes. Looks like it's got three part boxes. Uh, so this thing is pretty sweet. I can't wait to start using it and start waiting to build some more keybs here. So take a look at their website. They got a lot of great keyboard products. Armac.com. I'll put the link down in the description. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully some of these products will help level up your setup. I'll have a lot more products coming at you in future episodes, so stay tuned, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.